Hi guys, it's time for another market update. And this week, Bel Air. Nine double oh seven seven, ladies and gentlemen, it is the unicorn of zip codes of all zip codes in Los Angeles. There are some of the most incredible, stunning homes here that would be considered the most incredible homes in the entire world. So we just had a crazy developer, Niall, build what he wanted to sell for five hundred million. Let me whisper that five hundred million, and it went to auction and sold for $141 million. And I say it's crazy times to be alive because it was a three acre property, which is roughly 120,000 to 130,000 square footage. And the house was over 100,000 of square footage. So not a lot of grass, just a lot of house. It feels kind of like um, you're hanging out at the airport for uh, drinks, but don't worry, don't worry. This is not all the inventory in Bel Air. You get incredible old classic estates that have been owned by the who's who of Hollywood for decades and decades. We are talking generational homes that do not trade hands. And if you think 50, 100, or even $150 million is a lot for a house, believe me, there are homes that would sell for more if they ever made it to the market. So I'm talking about the weekend paying $75 million. What about Kylie Jenner paying $60 million? These houses are incredible. And to sell in Bel Air is really rather difficult. You either have to be one of those uh, TV personalities or through, of course, nepotism, which is anything in life. It's all who you know. I mean, literally, it's harder to get into the Kardashians' closet than to get one of these clients. So if you want to sell in Bel Air as an agent broker, good luck. But if you want to see some eye candy, and have some hopes and dreams, there's nothing wrong with hopes and dreams, and really get surrounded by the world's finest in life, you can find yourself north of Sunset Boulevard. There are gates that the Fresh Prince made famous, right? Remember him? The Fresh Prince of Bel Air that's been in the news lately. The guy who backhanded, you know, took off the beard with a gentle touch to Chris Rock, right? It was so sweet and touching. I am sure they will do a movie together soon. So there is just so much going on in Bel Air. You know, there's the Bel Air Country Club. There are, you know, the Bel Air Hotel, Hotel Bel Air. They have private schools like John Thomas Dye and Harvard Westlake Mansions and most famous residents like um, Hugh Hefner and the Playboy Mansion, right? Total iconography, right? Abundance of it. And it's beautifully located right here in Los Angeles next to Beverly Hills, another wonderful, fantastic city. So. I'll give you a, a few market stats, not like on the other videos, uh, you know, if you want them. But again, this is the hopes and dreams part of the city. But it could be you. It could be you one day. So the average houses in Bel Air are trading roughly around 10 to 15 million dollars. Now, now there used to be roughly 20 uh, trades a month. Now it's curtailed down to 10. It's actually interesting uh, market like Brentwood or Encino where you're trading 150 to 200 million dollars a month. So Brentwood actually averages 75 or 100 million. And you know why? There is just less inventory. And like I said, it's generational wealth. People get there and they stay there. Why would you want to leave Bel Air 90077, right? So uh, can't wait to see you next time. This is Timmy McClone with McClone Brothers and Scotty G from Concrete Real Estate Group. We care about you. We love the real estate business. And we'll see you soon. Peace.